An ideal beef steer is one you can profitably produce again and again to earn premiums on a value-based grid. Paul Dykstra crunched the numbers and says the perfect animal would make a 900-pound certified Angus beef prime yield grade 2.9 carcass. We've gone uh, from 60% to 70% choice in the last 10 years, which is very rapid improvement, uh, particularly as we look at history where uh, for decades we saw really no change whatsoever prior to that point. The packer is willing to pay us for carcasses that are better than average. So if 70% is the average, we're left with the remaining 30% of the choice select spread. The packer is willing to pay us for each choice carcass. As a result, that's a little bit smaller share than we would have had just a few years ago of the choice select spread. So we've got to add to that uh, with, again, shooting for the certified Angus beef brand target as well as prime. And quite frankly, uh, having well-rounded all-purpose cattle in the feed yard and on the rail. The target feeding numbers would include a feed to gain conversion at 5.6 and gain 3.8 pounds per day as a calf fed. The industry-wide gain ratio is 6.2, so just making that improvement in conversion saves more than $50. The idea of the perfect steer I think is quite universal across the United States in our production environments. Granted, we may start with a different package with different challenges in terms of our genetic selection that we must maintain uh, given those different environmental constraints, but in the end we can probably find uh, bulls that will fit our operation, even give us replacement heifers that are very suited to our environment that also have higher levels of marbling, uh, for instance larger ribeye size and better overall feed yard performance as well, that come out of a package that is still very suitable to those different environments. So it's an equal opportunity thing. Aim high, even higher than you might think you need to. Dykstra suggests a goal of 60% CAB acceptance with 10 to 20% prime on top. That's really going to boost uh, our, our economic return much more than, say, getting 100% choice carcasses. We simply need to ask more out of our cattle to get more out of the market in today's uh, environment. I'm Bob Cervera.